Good morning, everybody. It's Ian the Storyteller here, and I'm coming to you today from Eureka at home. And uh, I've also come to you from a beautiful field out in the middle of nowhere. In fact, uh, well, I'll show you where I am. I'm here. <laughs> I'm sat out in the rain, uh, and I thought I'd tell you a little story. So I'm going to have to be quick because it is raining and I'm going to get wet, as is my little camera. Uh, and um, I was trying to think of a story to tell you and I thought of this one and I'll tell you why I thought of this one because I've been plagued this morning by a fly that keeps uh, buzzing round me and it's bit me on my leg three times and uh, I'm having a little scratch right now so I thought I'd tell you a story all about a fly and I got this story from a friend of mine and my friend who's a storyteller is called Dave Tong down in Norfolk and uh, so I'm going to do this story that I heard him tell uh, a, a wee while ago and I hope, Dave, I do it justice. And uh, uh, this is for all the mums and all the dads and all the boys and girls and the grannies and granddads and the aunties and uncles out there in Storyland who like a good story. And the story goes like this. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a man. Now, this man, he wasn't very well. He wasn't very fit. In fact, he was unfit. And, well... He was running down the road because he was late, you see, and because he wasn't very fit, he was gasping for air. <gasps> and as he ran down the road, suddenly, out of nowhere, there came a little fly, and the fly <clears throat> went in his mouth and he swallowed it. Now, that was okay, and he didn't pay much attention, but that evening, when he was laid on the sofa watching telly, suddenly he felt the fly buzzing around inside his tummy. Well, he didn't like it. And he ran downstairs and he knocked upon the door of the old lady who lived in the flat downstairs. Now this old lady uh, was a wise old lady. And I'm going to do my best old lady impression for you. When she came to the door she said, yes. Old lady, old lady, said the man. Today I was running down the road and I swallowed a fly. And it sat inside my tummy and I don't know what to do. She said, oh, well... If you've eaten a fly, you'll have to eat something that'll eat the fly itself. He said, well, what's that? She said, well, the only thing that'll eat a fly is a spider. And there's one up there in that web. And when you put it in your mouth, don't chomp. Well, the man took the advice of the old lady and picked up the spider and popped it in his mouth and swallowed it. Well, the spider went down inside his tummy and he ate the fly and all was well. Until that evening. The man was laid upon the sofa watching the telly when suddenly he felt it. Eight hairy legs crawling up and down inside himself till he couldn't settle. He went downstairs, he knocked upon the door and the old lady came to the door and she said, Yes? He said, Old lady, old lady, I swallowed a fly and now a spider and it's wriggling around inside my tummy and I don't know what to do. She said, Ooh. Well, if you've eaten a fly and a spider, you'll have to eat something that'll eat the spider. He said, well, what's that? She said, well, the only thing that'll eat a spider is a rat. He said, a rat? She said, yes. And when you put it inside your mouth, don't chomp. Well, you're never too far away from a rat. And he found one, big and brown, and he put it in his mouth, and he swallowed. Boom. And the rat went inside his tummy and he swallowed the spider and all was well. Until that evening, he was sat upon his sofa and he was watching telly. And the rat it went to work. Its sharp teeth started to bite. Well, the man, he couldn't settle. He ran downstairs, he knocked upon the door. The old lady came out and said, yes. He said, old lady, old lady, I've swallowed a fly and a spider and now a rat. And I don't know what to do, she said, oh. Well, if you've eaten a rat the size of the one that you've eaten, you'll have to eat something now that'll eat the rat. He said, well, what's that? She said, well, the only thing that'll eat a rat is a snake. He said, a snake? She said, yes. And when you put it in your mouth, don't chomp. Well, he found himself a snake and he stretched it out like a sword and he put it in his mouth and he swallowed it and the snake went down inside his tummy and he ate the rat and all was well until that evening. The snake came alive and it started to roll around inside his tummy. Well, he couldn't settle. He ran downstairs. He knocked upon the door. He said, oh, yes. 
He said, old lady, old lady, I swallowed a fly and a spider and a rat and now a snake and it's writhing around inside my tummy and I don't know what to do. She said, oh, well, if you've eaten a snake the size of the one that you've eaten, you'll now have to eat something that'll eat the snake. He said, well, what's that? She said, well, the only thing that'll eat the snake the size of the one that you've eaten. Well, he's a wolf. He said, a wolf? She said, yes. And when you put it in your mouth, don't chomp. Well, he went all the way to Scotland, where they're trying to reintroduce him, you see. And he found himself a wolf. And he picked it up and he put it in his mouth and he swallowed it down. And the wolf went down inside his tummy and ate the snake. And all was well. Until that evening, he was sat upon the sofa eating his tea and watching the telly when well the wolf wasn't so much of a problem you see because the wolf had actually gone to sleep it, the problem was the wolf being a wild animal and having great fur upon its back well it was riddled with fleas and the fleas came alive and were jumping up and down inside his tummy in fact he yawned at one point and one jumped out of his mouth and landed in his beans on toast well he couldn't settle he went downstairs he knocked upon the door and the old lady came out and said yes he said old lady old lady i swallowed a fly and a spider and a rat and a snake and now a wolf and it's riddled with fleas i don't know what to do she said oh well, if you've eaten a wolf the size of the one that you've eaten, you'll have to eat something now that it'll eat the wolf. He said, well, what's that? She said, well, the only thing that'll eat a wolf the size of the one you've eaten is a wild pig. He said, a wild pig? She said, yes. And when you put it in your mouth, don't chomp. Well, he found himself a wild pig and arm. he swallowed it. It went down inside his tummy and he ate the wolf and all was well. Until that evening, well, you know what wild pigs are like. They start rooting around and that's what it did. It rooted around inside his squidgy bits and he couldn't settle. He went downstairs to see the old lady. He knocked upon the door. She said, yes. He said, old lady, old lady, I've swallowed a spider, a fly, a rat, a snake, a wolf that's riddled with fleas and now a wild pig and it's rooting around inside my squidgy bits and I don't know what to do. She said, oh, well, you'll have to eat something now that'll hunt down the pig. He said, well, what's that? She said, the only thing that'll hunt down a wild pig is a man with a bow and arrow. He said, a man with a bow and arrow? She said, yes, and when you put him in your mouth, don't chomp. Well, he found himself a man that was prepared to do the job, and he swallowed the man, hum. He swallowed the bow, hum. He swallowed the arrows, hum. And the man with the bow and arrow went down inside his tummy, but by this point, the pig had gone wandering off. And I know you're gonna, not going to believe me, but the man hunted that pig for one day, two days, three whole days. But could he find that pig? Nay, he could not. And after three whole days, the man with the bow and arrow was so hungry, he thought to himself, you know, if I don't find that pig quite soon, I'm going to starve. And I know you won't believe me, but down inside the stomach of the man that swallowed the fly, didn't the hunter find a lake? Yes, a lake. And it was big and beautiful but it was also teeming with fish. And he thought to himself, if I could catch some of those fish, I could eat those fish and I would be well. But what to catch the fish with? When suddenly he saw down on the ground a fishing net. And so he picked it up and he cast it upon the lake. But the problem was he cast it too high. And down there inside the stomach of the man that swallowed the fly, and I know what you won't believe me, Flying through the sky, there was a flock of geese. And the net caught hold of the geese. And suddenly, whoo -hoo -hoo, the man flew up in the air. Well, he was flying through the air inside the stomach of the man that swallowed the fly. And he thought, I'm going to surely die. There's no way down from here. When suddenly he saw a church. Now, it was a wooden church. And the man thought to himself, well, there's a soft landing. If I could throw myself down from this net, I could land upon the roof of that church, slide down, pick up my bow and arrow, hunt down that pig, and he'd be home before tea time. And so he let go. And he fell. Whoa! But the problem was, he misjudged the journey and it was far too high and douche he hit the roof of the church and I'm sad to say that was the end of him but just at that moment climbing the belfry inside that church there were three men because they were going to ring the church bell because it was Sunday you see and the man hit the roof 
and they got such a start that their heads banged together and sparks came out of their ears. Now I did tell you it was a wooden church and the sparks were enough to set that church on fire and the whole thing burnt. But one thing survived. Now can you tell me what it was? Thank <music> you.